poetry. It's a massive tradition and every year it's a huge thing. There's semi-finals, a final, the assembly room gets filled out, there's judges, it's a big, big thing. And it's just awesome to be able to introduce this year's winner yes. of that bar. I'm just going to give you some wonderful barding. I think that's the right word for it. I'm going to make up a word. Uh, barding. And uh, Becky Nagel is a bard of 2018 to 2019. Give me a big round of applause. Yes. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start with the Virtues of Humility poem that I won the Bardic competition with. So I'm going to go straight into that. Let love be in my mouth and in your ears. Let love come and for today and all days erase our fears that we may each be ourselves but know that we are one. Humility looks up makes eye contact, for the concrete disturbs her. Despite her apparent low stature, she loves to gaze at the stars. She comes to ask you for a dance. Today we are talking of the virtues of humility, but I have not come to humble you. I want you grounded, but I do not want you low. Be big of heart and close to the earth. I have come, as bards do, to reassure and remind you, to bind you, to bind us all together. In the land of stories and poems, no one is ever alone. Let us enjoy the journey and lead each other home. It is not my mission to bring you to submission, but to give you all permission. So don't forget to shine. For the virtue of humility is that it lets you be big and small at the same time. I do not want you shamed. I want you all aflame, full of life and fire. Knowing your desire is important, but not more important. Follow your own dreams, but leave room for mine, for hers, for his. For humility holds space and time for all our dreams to flourish. Humility does not mean you are not worthy, that you are somehow not enough, that you are less than others. It is the space where all can be worthy and enough. Where all and each and every one is handmade with love from stardust. So don't forget to shine. For the virtue of humility is that it lets you be big and small at the same time. I have not come to bring you down, but lift you up and fill your cup. So that you might lead and serve simultaneously. Be comfortable on bended knee and talking to the stars. For all and each and every one are beloved friends of ours. Life will sometimes make you small, minuscule in fact. You will no doubt feel a little insignificant, as if you're not really present, that you can't make a difference, but none of that is true. It's just that life humbles you so that you might grow bigger, brighter, more beautiful, and not forget how sacred it is to be small. Like a child, innocent and sure, wide-eyed, looking up, knowing you're not empty, you're a new cup. Life will bring you to your knees again and again. It may throw you in the ocean like Taliesin, but you will grow as he did to rise and challenge kings. Life will bring you to your knees again and again, because there is no better place to say thank you. Not more, not less. We're all just a glorious, beautiful mess. So bless everything. Bless your enemies, bless your friends. Bless the beginning, bless the end. Bless the high, bless the low. Bless the fast, bless the slow. Bless the big and bless the small. Bless it, bless it, bless it all. And don't forget to shine. For the virtue of humility is that it lets you be big and small at the same time. And there'll be a time to shrink and a time to grow, a time to lead and a time to follow. You will change and yet somehow remain the same. Stop looking for someone to blame. Transform the pain with honesty and humility into sacred wounds of change. 
It is humility that lets us be wherever we are. It is so tangled up with grace, it's amazing. The things in life that humble us will teach us how to fly. And we'll know the heart that beats in the caterpillar is the same heart inside the butterfly. We are all branches of the one tree. You are the singer, the shaman and the sage. Break from your cage. Sing, heal, know. Open to Arwen, open to flow, sing, heal, know. We are both big and small because true humility is multidimensional. You are one with the world, individual, but part of the great whole. Humility requires an enormous amount of honesty. It is a sign of strength, of truth and authentic confidence. It is not weak, submissive or fearful. Humility gives way because she loves, not because she is not powerful. She is the key to unity and the path to peace. Let us know the gifts we hold were given. Let us trust in something bigger than us. We must not forget to give praise where praise is due. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not more, not less. We're all just a glorious, beautiful mess. So bless everything. Bless your enemies, bless your friends. Bless the beginning, bless the end. Bless the high, bless the low. Bless the fast, bless the slow. Bless the big and bless the small. Bless it, bless it, bless it all. And don't forget to shine. For the virtue of humility is that it lets you be big and small at the same time. Thank you. Is it time for another one? Or?